Now check this out. It was the largest earthquake in the history of the new American Republic that brought the first settlers to Salem. The New Madrid, Missouri quake of 1811. The quake that caused the Mississippi River to flow backward and church bells to ring as far away as Boston sent Captain Samuel Young searching for a more hospitable home, finding abundant game and tranquility when he reached present-day Salem. He made camp on what is now the Courthouse Square. Salem is short for Jerusalem, reaching the Promised Land, right? In the 1820s, a severe drought hit northern and central Illinois, which contributed to the wagon loads of people traveling to southern Illinois to obtain food and grain for themselves and their livestock, as this was compared to the biblical story of Israel going to Egypt to purchase grain. Southern Illinois became known as Israel. Egypt and also Little Egypt. Salem became the gateway of Little Egypt. That's crazy because I've been telling you guys that all this that is happening, the timeline goes back to that story of Joseph and Egypt and the two um, seven year periods. It's directly linked to this Little Egypt. That's crazy. That's why it's called Little Egypt. That's where the X is made with the eclipses right on Little Egypt. Connecting us back to 1811 right here. Major earthquake and a food and drought issue just like in Egypt with Joseph. The book of Genesis chapter 40 through 49 and 50. The two seven years of plenty and seven years of famine. It's amazing the connections. The New Madrid seismic zone is not in an area of the United States that most people would assume is at risk of earthquakes. It's located in the middle of the country, basically on the border between Missouri, Tennessee, Arkansas, and Kentucky. Despite this, however, there are millions of people at risk today of a major earthquake. And we know this because it's happened before. In modern human history, the most defining series of earthquakes within the New Madrid seismic zone occurred in 1811 and 1812. During that time, a sequence of major earthquakes between magnitude 7.0 and 7.5 hit within the region. These were felt over an area of roughly 1 million square miles, an extent greater than any other series of earthquakes in the historic record of North America. Reports from the time described ground waves that could be seen as they rolled across the land, rivers that ran backward, vast fissures opening in the earth, and intense shaking that toppled chimneys and trees. The town of New Madrid, Missouri, located near the epicenter of the seismic activity, suffered extensive damage, and the landscape of the region was permanently altered, with new lakes forming and sections of the Mississippi River changing course. And due to the unique nature of the seismic zone, aftershocks were felt in the region until 1817, five years after the original event. Following the 1811 to 1812 earthquakes, the region experienced several other significant seismic events, though none have approached the magnitude of these early 1800s quakes. Yeah, we're in for it. We're in for some earthquakes, for sure. For sure, that is where the eclipse makes the X at Little Egypt and it follows the New Madrid fault line down. The eclipse goes right across it. We are being spoken to, being warned. Definitely, it's common. Earthquakes are common. It's about patterns, too. These patterns always repeat themselves. Everything is just a pattern. <laughs> 